This week, the two main heroes, ESX and React. I'm watching the tutorial about Webpack because this is another time that I have to come back to it and I don't feel really uh, secure in it so uh, I'm trying to understand how to configure the next steps with Webpack in the Recipe Box project. I want to finish, I want to write in ES6. I want to learn more about ES6 because I didn't do it last year. I didn't use it last year. It's another tutorial for today and Tuesday was devoted to ES6. The thought that comes to my mind is that we postpone learning new things very often. Very often it's like, uh, it's not the time, it will be too difficult. Looking at it, it seems to be like changing writing to CSS to SAS. So it's like going step further, uh, making things easier, uh, writing less code and achieving the same results. But the thing is that we are afraid and lazy. Sometimes we are looking for the excuses and we avoid learning something new just why, because it's new or we think that it's really difficult. Sure, I'll have to devote some time to introduce uh, these ES6 uh, in my code and remember about them and for sure I will be rechecking it a few times. But the things sometimes are really easy and we make them really difficult because we are lazy or we simply don't want to try it because it's new. This was my case with ES6. a bit the project in order to keep the uh, files that I produce separately from those that will go to the production server and today I'm finally starting working on uh, moving the components from layout uh, into react components into changing uh, their display into react display
it's the end of the week and this is what I managed to do in uh, this app this week. I load the content right now with React. So as you see in this create recipe, uh, I gather a header component, text component, image component, uh, and they are totally built uh, with uh, React right now. So these purple colors are React components. Let's see it in the code. So I divided uh, the content from HTML uh, into components and pages. Components right now are almost ready. Uh, these are the smaller blocks and uh, they use um, the props and they are loaded dynamically. They change dynamically. I use props, the majority of them, to pass the uh, data because these components will be reusable. So states uh, weren't the best choice here. In order to make the components reusable, I had to make uh, conditioning like in tags. Tags is the element here. So depending on the view, tags are rendered um, in a different way. For example, if the tags are editable, uh, so they are in create or addition mode, uh, I uh, add them the class tags, which uh, places them to the left. But if they are in the homepage view or in the recipe view of the, of the details, where I look at the details of the recipe, uh, they have uh, the alignment to the right. The data is rendered dynamically, it's added dynamically. Uh, so this part is almost done, I think. But pages right now, the top level, Pages still needs to be done next week. This is another level, so pages with details, addition, and home view. Uh, I use the components, so I use this stuff. Uh, however, pages uh, at the top level needs uh, much more logic and work next week. Mm, and I'm going to come back to it. Uh, I think that firstly I will do the routine in order to uh, be able to move between pages and uh, change the content dynamically. And later I will come back to the logic and local storage because also one of the requirements for this project, it's here, number eight, all new recipes I add are saved in my browser local storage. If I refer the page, the recipes will still be there. So routing uh, and the logic uh, at the top level of pages, so here, uh, and uh, local storage still uh, needs to be done, still needs to be dealt with. Next week, I will continue with recipe box project. And choose the best video for this evening. Keep on doing and see you next week.